so I'm sleeping on a rugby field here. Uh, look, even the window is oval. The oval office, eh? You think it's far-fetched? Remember that rugby was invented by the elite, you know, at a boarding school called rugby, like Eton, you know? Look here, it's also, it's, an, it's the logo of uh, Gilbert, you know, making rugby balls. You know, they've got a double, a double oval here in the middle, you see, with the basic Peitsches. I tell you, it's all over. It's all over. Yeah. The local rugby club here. It's the elite, and they know exactly what it is, an oval, and, you know, they know exactly what it is, and it is, it's here in the logo. They play with an oval ball, they got oval windows. Well, these guys, they don't know it here. But uh, the ones who invented this game, they absolutely know it. The oval game, eh? The oval office, the Vesica Patches, one for all and all for one. Well, it's going to snow. What's that? Templars? Any Templar boys, eh? The Oval Office boys. You know, it's probably an old pharaonic game called, uh, like, play the oval. I mean, you have to come up with the idea, eh? Why, why an oval ball, eh? Play the oval. It used to be, from the beginning, and it still is, a very elite sport for the aristocracy, eh? Uh, well, nowadays, at the professional level, it's a sport for bodybuilders. Uh, and, uh, you know, they're not even quick anymore. This is how the French, they lost the, uh, the French flair. They were absolutely the best, but they also became like bodybuilders. They slow down, you know. Uh, after 20 minutes, they're all tires. Because, you know, they have to... The blood has to go to all these muscles. They're tired after, the, you know. It's, it, it, just like American football, they have to wait every minute, they go, they go and wait and like, almost have a coffee break, eh? This is no accident, people. Yeah, there you go, the Oval. It's their Oval Office, eh? Elite game. Boarding school called Rugby. Now look, and it has blue for the war and white for the New World Order. The, um, the horizontal rule, you know, that's why there's the Freemason stuff on it here. And then we got two pillars here, like in the entrance of a temple, Yashin and Boas. And, and remember, it's a game by the elite and for the elite. And again, it's not a Jewish game, you know. It's an aristocratic game, it's the elite, right? Yashin and Boas. Pharaoh. Me. You know, if you score, you know, ball going through here, the oval going through here, then it's like going into the temple. The Oval, the Vesica Peitsches, the Oval Office, going in through the gate into the temple, okay? And you get a point. And if you get a point, it's like, you know, getting a higher degree, eh? If you make a lot of points, you're, I mean, you're the man, eh? You're the master mason or, you know. I was bloody wet last night. It still is. It's raining all the time. I'm putting my tents in that stuff like there. The temple, eh? And you know, the arena, you know, it's like a temple for many people, you know, like soccer, American football, rugby is their temple, you know. I know people, you know, they do nothing else, you know. Going into the temple, they even call it the temple sometimes, I think, the, uh, the soccer arena, you know, the, the, the football stadium. Uh, there's probably a lot more. It's a war, yeah, for the New World Order, going into the temple. 
You know, and the whole game basically is uh, pro unes, unes pro omnibus, omnes pro unes. You know, one for all and all for one. You know, during the game, after the game, and uh, yeah, one for all and all for one. The temple of sports. Hey. You know, the numbers add up as well. You know. There's, um, it's altogether 15, consisting of 8 and 7. 8 is the scrum. You know, that's the army, that's octagon. You know, the heavy dudes, you know, doing all the work, all the... You know, like, you know, doing, it's like... Um, the army, you know, slow and massive, you know. And then there is the rest, you know, the running guys. You know, even the scrum half is one of the running guys and the fullback. And the line out, the three quarters, they call them the three quarters, eh? The concept of three and the concept of four. So the three qu the quarters, you know, they're the, they get all the glory, you know, they're the, like the leaders, you know, the glamour guys, the running guys, they make the points, you know, they get all the medals, you know, the officers, like if you want. The three quarters, yeah? The Americans have the quarterback, you know, the concept of four. So the three quarters is the concept of three and the concept of four. And they all make out seven together, the running do blo blokes, yeah? That's three plus four. The G. There's probably a G here somewhere as well, you know? It's all pharaonic, it's all... Templars, you know? That's a war. Templar wars, three quarters, the elite game, you know? It's funny, they say... They say soccer is a gentleman's game played by crooks. And they say rugby is a, is a game for crooks played by gentlemen. You know, that's also very Freemason-like, you know. A game for crooks played by gentlemen, you know. The game for crooks, crooks, it's a war. The war, you know. And played by gentlemen. A Freemason, they will never tell you in the face, you know, like Roosevelt, Teddy Roosevelt, the president, he used to say, speak softly and strike hard. Well, that's what it's all about, you know. To understand more, watch my film Octogon, the Empire of Darkness. And of course, the Swiss beast, home of the devil. Okay. Actually, there were rumors, you know, I, I wasn't selected, but nominated for the Springboks, you know, only rumors, not more. And then we had the boycott, the whiteies are the bad people, so we have to boycott them, you know, to take the whole country. And uh, they also, they always use um, some sort of another theory, you know, to, uh, to crack up a country, you know, the, like the theory, a racist theory, a religious theory you know the reformation and the blacks are nice people the whites are so bad you know uh, it's uh, it's our country you know there was nobody there when we came there just some bushmen uh yeah the sun so watch my film then the swiss beast home of the devil and let's play some real rugger with them eh? let's go and play some real rugger you show, we're gonna show him who the bloody three quarters are, eh? Come on, let's get all on the field, let's get them. Let's score, let's put their oval up to there, into there, up there, yes, okay. Come on people, it's now or never. Get onto the field, it seems like I'm the only player in the field, eh? I'm the only player on the field. Against 15 of them. Against thousands of them. Hey, Swiss, hey. So today, some awfully mean-looking Belgian women are having a game of rugger, yeah, well, with one man, you know, to, to, to keep them out of each other's hairs, of each other's hairs. I don't know which one is the local one, but, oh, okay. So they're going to kick off, eh? Yeah, look, kick off. Probably gonna scratch each other each other's faces and so but okay well 
you know, if you look at the shirts, you know, like the English, they have a white shirt with a red rose, yeah? So I, they're awfully mean looking women, so I'd rather stay here at the, uh, safely at the hill, next to this castle there, or the ch chapel. Oh, bloody hell, the police, come on, let's run. <laughs> oh, it's kick off, hey, eh? there we go. So I was, you know, I was, if you look at the English shirts, you know, the English national team of rugby, they've got their white shirts with a red rose on it. You know, it's not by chance, all these colors and everything, but, you know, you don't really think that the, uh, the players made the shirt, eh? They chose the shirt. No, it's the elite, of course. Oh, look at that one, eh? Yo, oh, you made it. Good. That's quick, eh? One minute. Okay. Well, the Belgians are, are good runners, you know? They ran away from the Germans in two world wars, you know? They ran away from the Dutroux affair, and they're very good runners. Okay. If you don't mind my s cynicism. So, they got a white shirt, the English, with a red rose, you know? A rose is a flower. The flower becomes comes before the fruit. So this means their fruit and descendants of the flower, and the flower represents the old world order, the vertical rule of the aristocracy, you know, the two poles, two vertical poles. If you descend the descendants, you know, you get to the, ver the horizontal rule, there it is. So the white of the shirt, you know, which is most of it, most of the colors is white is the New World Order, because today the New World Order horizontal rule, that's most of it. And to show them, you know, amongst each other, because we, the people, we haven't, we haven't got a bloody clue what's going on, um, it's red, where they come from, a little bit of red, the flower, which comes first, before the fruit, the fruit, you know, I hope you get it, you know, <laughs> I'm a bit clumsy today. And, um, I'm having some rough times here. It's raining all the time. Look at that. Oh, I haven't seen the sun in two weeks, I think. No, really, I'm serious. Only rain and wind. And if you look at the other shirts, you know, like the All Blacks, you're all black, you know, like the black ballers in a, temp in a Freemason Templar Lodge, you know. If you don't make it, like, you know, if you don't make it into the temple, here, the temple, if you don't make it in, in that, you know, and pass the Yashim and Boas and the New World Order, so you have to go above the New World Order and left and right from the Old World Order, it all has a sense, you know, really, believe me, it all has a sense. So you have to pass above the New World Order and left and right from the, new, the Old World Order. So, you know, if you pass below the New World Order, that means you don't agree with it and you don't um, respect the laws of the New World Order, then you pass underneath, you know, like me. So they have to pass above. You know, it's also as above, so below. It's all here, you people, really. It's all satanic. It's bloody satan. I mean, look at these satanist girls here. It's all satanic. Look at them. A mean little runner as they are. Uh, from the real things, they run away, eh? Well, I never, never mind, okay. At least I'm not the only one at the, at the field anymore. <laughs> so, the All Blacks, you know, if you don't pass it into the temple, like here, then uh, they give you a black uh, cube, the Freemasons do. You don't pass it inside, so that means you don't score. So the, the All Blacks actually is a cynical term, you know, that they, they don't score, they don't go into the temple. Very cynical. But they love it, you know, it's, it's, it's a joke in between them. You know, it's the colonies against the, uh, the empire, New Zealand against uh, England. So they say, well, we, we, we don't get into the, we, we don't score, we don't go into the temple, you know, because you are the empire. That's why the All Blacks is the name. And tell, you know, it's not some, Polynesian uh, Hakka performing dude, you know, who made the, the name of the of the of the All Blacks, eh? No. And what is All Black? The, the whole thing is the, the the cube. It's All Black. It's a black baller. 
Well, I can rant on for hours about this, but never mind, you know, I'm gonna have a beer. So it's by the titles, the shirts, the whole game, the whole setup with the poles and all that. Probably the distances as well, you know, around the field. I should look it up, but I, you know, I'm, excuse me, I am, um, I'm just hoboing around, eh? Well, that's me, yeah, you know, like, uh, so I, I can't look it up for you, sorry. It's all by the elite, you know, the number three. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye, mean girls. I hope you don't scratch each other faces too much. Because that would make too much red on the white. <laughs> too much red on the white, right? Eh? Uh, you know, this is a very elitist game, yeah? It's not a Jewish game, eh? <laughs> you know, coming back to those again. They were too busy, you know, cutting their dicks and, you know, banging the wall and all that. You know, no, it's an elitist game. And in all those elitist boarding schools, you know, like rugby or Eton and, you know, oh, I've been to Eton, you know, and where have you been, dear chap? Yeah. So, you know, I had some members of my family talking like this, bloody hell. Yeah, so there was a, you know, it still is a breeding ground for Dimole youth and, you know, like William Cooper, he was part of it, but he... He turned his back upon them, and a little bit more than only his back. And um, he pissed on them, yeah. So that's why they killed him. And uh, it's a breeding ground for all sort of pre-large Freemasonic things, you know. So this is why the youth of rugby, and then Eton, and Cambridge, Oxford, they all came with this game, they loved it, you know. It's a Masonic game. Rugby, three quarters, you know, quarterback. It's a Masonic game. It's not a Jew game. They are not the rulers of the world. Otherwise, I don't give a damn about them. Again, you know, for all the ones who think, still think I'm a, I'm a Jew boy or something, because I, anyone, you know, any Palestinian who sees somebody, you know, attacking the Jews, you know, he must be a Jew boy. Well, I'm not, I tell you. you know, I'm, I'm, I'm drinking my beer. I'm a homeless. No, I'm not a Jew boy. Two Jewy boys, they don't help me at all. I'm too busy making money and whatever. They do. Or well, anybody else does as well, you know, so still it's all the same. You know, the Swiss they like even more, they like even more money, you know. You know I can't see anything. Well okay, so boarding schools, Dimole youth, you know, it all goes together. It's a Masonic game of the elites, you know, you can check it all out. I've never seen any, you know, like curly hair on the sides, you know, and all in black. Well, we have the all blacks, but they're not the orthodox, eh? <laughs> there you go. Oh, I'm hurt. I sprained my ankle. Oh, yeah. oh wow. Wow, this is heavy, eh? Well, they look awfully mean, I tell you. I'd rather say safely up the hill. Hey, that's what aristocrats do. They say they stay safely up there while the people are having the wars, the battlefield. Girlies. I always thought that a woman only serves one thing, but I've been proven wrong here again. I'm wrong so many times. Excuse me. I'm not the one I used to be. Oh, it looks quite serious, eh? Wow. Oi, clap your hands. Replacement. Yes, they're clapping their hands. Like the great replacement. Christ Church, a Templar. Uh, yeah. Templars. It's always Templars. Yeah. But you know, statistically, I've heard, you know, a uh, female rocker. There are far less uh, accidents, you know, because they have the double airbag. Well, you figure that out yourself, eh? <laughs> the double airbag of the women. Yeah. Sometimes they explode, eh? Maybe when there is a little baby. 
<laughs> well, this baby here is sucking this sort of stuff, I tell ya. That's the baby stuff, eh? Hey? So, don't need any double airbag. So, I'm here the next day, you know, I'm in the morning, get some inspiration here. And, uh, you know, this, the, the, the base here, the field, is the square. You know, that's like sort of us, but they play it as well. But it means us. It's the concept of four. It's the square, the base here. And the, only the oval goes into the temple. You know, <clears throat> only the initiated, the ball, that means the oval. Only the initiated go over the new world order, the horizontal rule. And in between Yashim and Boaz, and in between the um, the old world order vertical rule. Yeah. Well, this is why they call it a try. Have you ever thought about it? A try? Why do they call it a try? I mean, what are they trying? I mean, you get more points with a try than you know going into the temple. Well, the temple. That's why you get three points, eh? Because it's them, yes, it's the side of the pyramid, it's the compass. So you get three points. <sighs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Must be the boulette. In Belgium they got boulette. You know, it's like cannonballs, meatballs. It's by it everywhere. So I've been feeding myself on boulette and Belgian beers. For me that's Belgium. Belgium. Uh, beers and boulette. The, the, the bees. <clears throat> yeah, so you get three points for the concept of three. And if you make a try, yeah, you get four points, isn't it? Yeah, it used to be four points. I, I, they're changing it all the time, you know, from four to five, and it used to be two points, and then you get three points. Yeah, four points. Four points for the square, the compass, the people. This is the square. <clears throat> and only the initiated can go into the temple here and get three points. Yeah, it's them. I get it. It's an elite game made by the elite for the elite. Now everybody can play it. But only they know it. It's everywhere. They are masters. Remember, they are our masters. And, um, yeah, well, okay. Oh, look, there's an all black on the field. The all blacks, a black baller. Hey, so many of many of you people that think the all blacks or the, you know, it's like an orthodox Jew there. Look, the orthodox Jew. You ever saw like, uh, you know, 30 men running in orthodox clothes over the field, like this, this one here? It's the orthodox Jews. Of course not. It's not a Jew game. It's an aristocratic game, people. <clears throat> it's an aristocratic game. The masters. Play the oval into the temple. No, I never noticed that before. I thought it was quite funny. But look, her knee and the leg here, it makes a square. It's like 90 degrees, exactly. And here, it's the compass at 60 degrees, the angle of her arm. And there's a lot more. That, it, it really says the square and compass. Our masters, it's everywhere. And I've been passing, I've been passing here I don't know how many times, you know, and it's only now I see it. I right? can you imagine how much they, how much they hide, right? The hidden hand, they hide everything, they lie, they cheat, they steal. So that's fantastic, somebody made me this, and uh, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I can't click on it for security measures. So here's the McDonald's sign. Uh, it's part of this here. 
Sorry, I don't show it the right way. Yeah, there you go. So the symbol is the Vesica Pites, two rings, you know, and the oval in the middle. And that means one for all and all for one. McDonald's, it's all the same. It's um, Maltese Knights, Mason, that's what it means. And of course, for the children, yeah, look, I don't know what, what he's sitting in, you know, what's, what's that? No, it's a, it's a rabbit, okay, you are. I don't know what it is. Weird, oh, you just pissed. No idea, but anyway, there's the basic capaches with a lot of ovals in between. So the kids, they get used to it at a very early age, you know. In a McDonald's, of course. I like McDonald's anyway, but um, it's still a wonder. It doesn't say 5 to 12 here. Eh? So they get used to the watch, to the clock. You know, hurry up, yeah, go to work, you know, and all that. You know. So here in the McDonald's here. <clears throat> so see my other film about the, uh, the sign of the McDonald's, the... Um, uh, that it is the M for Mason, and uh, so I show you now the uh, what a fan of my video sent me. He made a really nice picture uh, where you can see the M, and that it is the same thing as this here, uh, the basic capaches with the oval in the middle. So I show it to you in a minute. So here, macho for men. What do you think, Lux is in red, eh? Luxembourg, the province of Luxembourg in Wallonia, Belgium. Because Lux it means the light, like in the Illuminati. And this is the light for them, the crown, the lion. It's in red for the old world order. Uh, it's them. And there are four lines in white here, horizontal lines for the new world order. Uh, here an oval in his mouth, oval office, six in the crown, it's all them, Lux, the Illuminati, the light. Yeah. Well, you, want, you want me to decipher that one as well? It's closed, the library is closed. Maison de Culture. Oh really, you thought the V was because of the, uh, the initial in his name, eh? Oh, forget about it. It's all Templar stuff. Here, yeah, another one. Yeah, look at that. Everywhere. So, next to the obelisks here. So, you know who's going to eat here, eh? The V's, Churchill's and all that. So, the yellow jackets are there, as you can see. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was there before, just around... I, I'm not sure if I'd, I've shown you this, I've shown you this thing here, and that one there. Uh, but this is a three-dimensional octagon, as I found on the castle. So how come I found it on a 12th century castle, and I find it here as well? What's going on, right? A three-dimensional octagon, what's going on? They have been having it for at least thousand years. What's going on, eh? So is it like uh, contemporary art? Or what is it? Of course it isn't. It's very old. Here again, Horus, the falcon, carrying the grain of the revolution, of the new idea, of the new world order. You know, pharaohs, all pharaohs. Mason Town here. Yeah? 